I should wait till this actually gets started. Sorry for such a heavy topic to start things off of, but hopefully it'll get more light as we go through. Where's that? There we go. Talking about big time. So, let's talk about the concept of time. That's not one of the 15 second slides that can change any time. We all have an understanding of how long time is. At least we think we do. We know how long a second is. We know how long a minute is. We know how long an hour is, right? We know the relationship between those things to one another. We get a day, we get weeks, we even get years, longer time frames, but we've all experienced these and we know how long that is and how long a year is going to be from now, right? We get that collectively in this room. We understand how that process works. But what about things like a decade? Now, this is a, an oil rig. The first oil was discovered in Saudi Arabia or somewhere around that area in 1908, 100 years ago, right? Think back to 1808, 1708, and suddenly that century starts to get a little fuzzy. And if that gets fuzzy, what about thousands of years ago when these rocks in Spain were carved, you know? We have no concept of what these people were actually like. Now, some people do, but the most of us, we can't really relate to what happened thousands of years ago in human time. So what about big geological time? What about the things that, you know, when erosion happens and actually causes the Grand Canyon to develop over millions of years and evolution happens over billions of years? Do we get that concept of time? Probably not. Here's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to learn how to do that. Our friend Adam here, his top of his shoulder, and anybody can if they would like to, represents the beginning of the Earth, and the fingernail at the very, very end represents where we're at today. Okay, that's the entire history of Earthlings, if you'll think of it that way. 4.6 billion years ago, the Earth forms. Out of the accretion of distance surrounds the sun, about the same we've got a moon, not a very hospitable place, there was no life, but that's where we start, 4.6 billion years, right up here on top of the shoulder. First major event that happens to us 3.8 billion years ago, that's when the oceans actually come out of the sky from the atmosphere, and the, hard, the, the molten lava solidifies, and we actually have land. It's very sterile, there's been no life yet, but it took that long. Just a fraction of a moment after that, 3.5 billion years, at the beginning of the bicep, is when life actually starts. But it's just bacterial life. Single-celled stuff. Nothing you get excited about, some just things laying out there that discolor things. Think about this. That was the dominant life form all the way until here. This is when plants and animal precursors, multicellular life started showing up on the planet. Not what we call plants and animals, but that's where it was. That's where it started, all the way up there. We then lose focus on this, so we have to go to our finger now. Here above this first knuckle is 250 million years ago when something wiped out somewhere between 70 and 90% of all life forms on the earth. Gone. Like that. <clears throat> Quickly after that, only 25 million years, the dinosaurs show up. It didn't look like that, but he was the cutest picture I could actually find, right? <laughs> so that happened. I'm here on the knuckle. This is when life, sorry. I'm here on the knuckle <laughs> when the dinosaurs show up, right? Now they had a pretty good run. Until about here, and then suddenly they're extinct. And I mentioned that this is now, so think about all this time that has happened in between here when the dinosaurs are extinct at the beginning of the fingernail. Now, the beginnings of us were primates, by the way. We show up right up, just a hair above that. Dinosaurs are gone, the first primates show up on the planet. But we're still way down here. We haven't even touched humanity. The big question is, where, where do we come from? What's, what time frame are we talking about? That's us. This little white line that's on all of the guys' fingernails, if you trimmed them recently, that's where we started. Here we are today. That's it. That is when Homo sapiens sapiens walked around. It's been 50 million years. Everything happened to them. Everything we know of has happened. Art, writing, civilization beginnings, religions of multiple forms on some continents and others as well. All of that took place within this time frame. The New World was discovered. <laughs> Betsy Ross comes around here. And everybody's gone all the way to the ending slide right away. I wanted to sequence out the next time. But yes, all the way past the space race to the fail whale. All of that stuff happened from an Earth that started up way back here. Remember, life forms here. It doesn't even start getting interesting until here. And then everything's dead. And then that little white piece of sliver is the entire existence of humanity. That's it. 
a simple presentation. If you want more information about me, I don't give out my business information anymore because Google's got it all. It's like 588,000 pages and certainly you can find me from there. Um, no, I don't talk about time all the time. I do business, uh, digital business strategies. If there's any interest in chatting with me, I use Creative Commons stuff like Flickr to use all of those pictures. And with that, thank you very much.